Welcome to our course, of Autodesk Revit NEP 2016. For Hydraulic and Sanitary Installations The design of the hydraulic installation of a construction project, oftentimes requires quite a lot of work to get completed, and properly detailed. But with Revit MEP, our work limits to the placement of furniture and hydraulic equipment, and next, allow Revit to automatically calculate the different pipelines along with each of the corresponding diameters, but furthermore, the software will also place all the connectors and corresponding fittings. Thus, allowing the installation to get quickly calculated. Furthermore, the software can determine the precise amount of material that will be used, indicating it in linear meters of pipelines, number of accessories and fixtures. Here, we've some examples of the type of projects we'll develop. And even though this course doesn't focus around domestic or industrial gas installations, this matter is nevertheless covered during our exercises. But moving on. One very important subject of this course, is that you become capable of building those elements which might be part of the installation. For instance, here we can observe a tank that doesn't belong to the default library of Revit Map, but that we've learned to build, along with its corresponding set of connections so Revit might recognize it and integrate it to the system. Next, we have this other project, which might belong to the installation of perhaps a sports center, or similar. In any case, during this course we'll observe multiple examples, since only through constant practice and repetition, is that you'll master this software. So, now we have what could correspond to a domestic installation. And that as you can observe, is developed in multiple levels. And this example will allow us to cover the several features of an architectural project. Which could be as simple as this, but that nevertheless possesses certain level of difficulty. Now we'll also observe what corresponds to the verification of the system. So once we've developed the installation, we get the certainty that none of its parts, no matter the size of the system, have any sort of issue or critical mistake. For instance, here we can observe the inspector tool which both show us and verify the water flux in the pipes. And this might be performed throughout the whole project, so we can have the precision that even one particular slope, at 50 meters from the main manifold, in a project as big as a school or a university, allows still for the adequate conditions for the sewage exit. There's also other inspectors, or tools, which will allow us to verify both the pressure and connections inside our system. So even one connection, preserves enough pressure in a hydropneumatic system, for adequately fulfilling its task. But to continue, here's another very important subject that we'll cover. That you get access to the whole set of libraries and templates that integrate Revit MEP. Since oftentimes, this will be an issue for those who start their work with Revit MEP. And let's remember, without any of such elements, nor templates, will be almost impossible to develop your projects with Revit. So in this regard, our support center will help you to properly install, or even acquire, such set of elements and templates, including fixtures, furniture and more. Thus helping you to quickly develop any of your projects. Finally, another matter we'll cover, is the generation of multiple reports, including the corresponding calculation notes, and the quantification of the system. So. These are the subjects widely covered in this course of Autodesk Revit MEP 2016. For hydraulic and sanitary installations. Then like all of our courses, you'll always have available in your computer, watch as many times as you want, whenever you want, and with the help of our experts, through the support center. A group of professional engineers, always eager to help you with all of your questions, learning, and projects. See you soon.